We want to break into programming and bring you live to um, Hawaii, where police are giving us an update on that mother who used to live here in the valley with her two kids missing five months. She's being held on a $5 million bond. Let's listen in. The attorney, prosecuting attorney Justin Collar will come up and provide you some information there. Uh, what I want to explain to you all, because I know that there's a, quite a bit of interest in this case and what's going on with the investigation, I want to make it clear before we start that uh, we are not the primary agencies responsible for this investigation. Uh, this investigation is being conducted by the Rexburg Police Department and the Madison County Prosecutor's Office, and they are the ones that are conducting this investigation. Our responsibility has only been to support those entities and to carry out what legal issues and requests that they have for us on our end. So to that end, um, all I can tell you is that please take that into a consideration when we give you an opportunity to ask questions, to limit those questions to what uh, it pertains to here on Kauai and not necessarily uh, regarding the investigation and the matters involving the investigation on the mainland because we can't answer that, okay? So back in December of 2019, the Kauai Police Department was con conducted, let me start that all over for you. Who's live? We all are. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, back in December of 2019, the Kauai Police Department was contacted by the Rexburg Police Department requesting our assistance to see if we could locate Lori Vallow and her husband, Chad Daybell. Uh, we were able to identify that they were here on the island. Subsequently, the uh, Police Department, Rexburg Police Department, uh, requested our assistance in providing a order to compel Lori Vallow to produce her children in Madison County. The Kauai Police Department did in fact find and produce that order to compel, and as you all know, she subsequently failed to do so. In addition, the Kauai Police Department, through the affidavit and support of the investigators in the Rexburg Police Department, were requested to serve a search warrant on the residence where the Daybells were residing, as well as the vehicle that they were operating. Uh, we did enforce that search warrant and all of the information that was gleaned from that search warrant was provided to Rexburg PD. Now, obviously yesterday, uh, we received information from the Madison County uh, jurisdiction courts through the Rexburg Police Department that a $5 million warrant was issued for Lori Vallow's arrest. That included uh, the ability for the Kauai Police Department to take Lori Vallow into custody on the following charges, according to the warrant. Two felony counts of desertion, desertion and non-support of dependent children, resisting or obstructing officers, criminal solicitation to commit a crime, and contempt of court. Lori Vallow was taken into custody without any incident by detectives of the Kauai Police Department. She was transported here to the Kauai Police Department headquarters and booked into our cell block where she stayed until she got uh, taken to her court appearance earlier this morning. She was taken in custody on Queen Emma Drive in Princeville, Kauai, and that was through uh, our police detectives. After the court hearing, she was transferred by the state sheriffs into the custody of the Kauai Community Correction Center, where she will remain throughout the time frame of her um, court proceedings. So what I wanna reiterate is that we are all hopeful that we are able to locate the missing children, Tylee and JJ, and we appreciate the community support. We appreciate the media's interest in this story and helping all the investigators try to locate these missing children. At this time, I'd like to introduce prosecuting attorney Justin Collar so he can provide you with his statement. Thank you. Uh, my name is Justin Kohler. I'm the prosecuting attorney for the county of Kauai. Um, I'm sure all of you were across the street uh, for court and saw exactly what happened. So that's uh, what happened. And as Chief mentioned, we're not the lead on this case. We, um, our position has always been we're here, call upon us, we'll assist in any way we can. And uh, the extradition proceeding concerns uh, simply the mechanics of getting Ms. Vallow from here back to Idaho. The underlying substance or merits of the case involving the children will not be litigated here on Kauai. 
uh, the extradition proceedings, what she can contest during these proceedings, um, basically is the legality of the arrest. Um, and really that's about it. So the hearing on March 2nd will be for the purposes of identifying Lori Vallow, uh, the person here in custody, as being the same person who is named on the warrant that came here from Idaho. So that is the purpose of that hearing. And uh, if that is successfully achieved, then she will be um, uh, commanded into the uh, custody of the Idaho personnel once we receive the governor's warrant and have it domesticated by our governor here in Hawaii. So that's about the extent of our involvement in the case. Um, I join in the chief's statement that uh, hopefully our involvement in this process can lead to um, some kind of just resolution to this case. And, uh, you know, of course, we are also hoping against hope that uh, Tylee and JJ are out there somewhere and will be reunited with their uh, other family members at some point. So I don't have anything else to add, Chief. I would just like to conclude before we begin with questions that I want to thank the Rexburg Police Department for the incredible amount of work and effort they've put into this case. They've been working tirelessly uh, to locate Tylee and JJ. And I know that uh, in today's modern world that we expect police work to solve everything in 48 hours. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case, especially with a case with, that has this many challenges ahead of it. And so I just want to thank the Rexburg Police Department, Rexburg Police Department uh, for all of their work and their efforts. And I also want to thank all of my detectives and personnel here at the Kauai Police Department uh, for the hard work and professionalism they have done in this case to support the investigation on the mainland. So with that, we'll open it up for a few questions. Chief, uh, John Lemiglia with CBS News. Uh, the couple have been island hopping recently. At the time of this arrest, any indication they were planning to leave Hawaii go somewhere else? I have no information that they, that they had any desire to leave. And can you explain why uh, Chad Daybell was not arrested, why it was just Lori Vallow? So as I mentioned earlier, this investigation is being conducted in the mainland. We have no local charges or concerns that there's criminal activity that's occurred here on, in Hawaii or on Kauai. And so uh, we are in response, acting in response to the legal matters and the warrants that come from the Rexburg authorities or in Madison County authorities, and we have not received any order that Chad Daybell uh, is part of the investigation or at this time uh, necessarily under arrest. So until such time that they ask for our assistance, we have nothing here locally to take him into custody for. Uh, You've been listening. You've been listening live to a news conference from police in Kauai on the arrest of Lori Vallow, who is the mother of the two children missing for the last five months. She is being held on a $5 million bond earlier today. Um, we carried it live on the news at four as her attorneys asked for her bond to be lowered to $10,000, saying she is not a flight risk. She doesn't even have a passport. The judge disagreed. Now she will be in court next March 2nd for that extradition hearing. And uh, again, these officers and the chief mentioning that they did execute a search warrant on uh, Lori Vallow and her new husband Chad Daybell's property in Hawaii and that's where we learned that they did find her 17 year old daughter's cell phone with mom no sign of the children at this point point. and again this is the family who lived here in the valley in the East Valley the Chandler area until uh, last summer when they suddenly picked up and moved to Idaho. You heard the police officers here in Hawaii saying they're kind of a, a sideline investiga investigatory agency because the lead in this case is up in Idaho. Uh, that's where we hope to get more information in the coming days uh, on this very complicated case.